Lesson 3.3 for Google Sheets has you go into your Google Classroom and you're going to click on the Lesson 3.3 and you're going to find the instruction sheet in there. You're going to find an Excel document in there already typed for you. And then you're also going to find this video that you've clicked on for watching it on your iPad. So what you're going to do is you're going to click on this file here and it's going to pop up like this. All right. So you can click on these three dots and open in a new window. And you give it a little bit of time here and then you can click on up here open with and Google Sheets. And what you end up having is you have everything typed out for you. Now to make it your own you're going to go up and you're going to click on file and make a copy. And you're going to name it your first name and then the lesson. You can get rid of that stuff at the end there, okay? And then you can hit OK. And you've got it. And you can X out of these other ones up here so they go away for you. But you have it all put together for yourself then, okay? So you're going to start with step number three. And it says find the average. We're going to figure out all these students' test scores. So what it wants us to do is it wants us to go to cell F and then 5. So F5 is right here. And you're going to click on more. Then you got the functions here and we're going to select average. Now sometimes you don't have to click on more. You can just go right to the functions and go to average here. Okay. So this formula pops up. Now what you have to do is you got to click right in the middle of C5 and hold down and go over and highlight over to E5. So you have the formula in there and then you hit enter. Okay. Now step number four says you're going to click and sell F5. And if you go up here, you have increased decimal places, and this one decreases it, okay? So we're going to decrease. we got to click it a bunch until it gets rid of it. It's just a number there, okay? Then what we're going to do is we're also going to use the autofill feature right here, and we can fill it right on down, and it does all the formulas for us. Saves us a lot of time, okay? Step number five, it says in cell C33. So right here is column C, and here's number 33, C33, okay? It wants me to do the average function again. So I'm going to go up here to functions, and I'm going to go to average. Then with my mouse, the wheel on the mouse, I'm going to scroll up and see how the formula goes with me. I'm going to click right in the middle of C5 here, and I'm going to highlight all the way down to C30. Okay, I might have to go down a ways and come back up. So I'm right here in C30. See, it says equals average C5 to C30. Even though it's down here, when I hit enter, the answer is going to show up right here. And it does. So then I'm going to click right here, and I'm going to get rid of these decimal places. Just keep clicking until they're all gone. And then what it says is it wants me to autofill to the right two places. Just two. Leave this one blank, okay? Then it wants me to find the maximum test score. So I click right here in C34. I go up to functions, and I do max. Same thing. I roll up with my mouse wheel, click right in the middle of C5, go down to C30, come right back up here to C30, and I hit enter. Now there's no decimal places to get rid of, so I just click on the 100, and I autofill two places to the right. Now it wants me to find the lowest test score. So I go up here to functions, minimum, M-I-N, min, go back up, and go right down here to C30, and I hit enter, and autofill over two places. Okay, once you're done with all of that, you're on to step eight, and it says bold row four. So I'm going to scroll up, and I can click on the number four. The whole entire row is selected, and I can click bold. Then it says right align cells C4 to F4. So I'm going to click somewhere else, and then I'm going to go up to C4, and I'm going to highlight, click right in the middle, and highlight over to F4. 
and it wants me to write a line. So here's left, here's center, here's right a line. Okay, got it to the right. Then it wants me to bold cells C33, so I'm going to go down to C33 to E35. So I click right in the middle and go to E35, and then I click bold. All right, step number 11. Step 11A, select cells A33, so right here. Even though they're outside the box, I just copy right here. I highlight this, and then with my mouse in this blue area, I right-click with my mouse, and I do cut. Okay? Then, right here, I put my mouse right in cell B33, so there's 33, and there's column B. I hold my mouse right here, and I right-click, and I paste. Okay, and now I'm, it wants me to resize column B, so I go up between the B and the C, and I double click, so it's nice and wide, okay? The last thing it wants me to do is scroll up to the top in cell A4, I click and I highlight all the way down and over to F30, right here, okay? And it wants me to go up to the borders. So right here, this is called borders, and I click on it. The very first one is going to be your all border right here. So you click on it, and now I have borders right in there. That's it for Lesson 3.3. Turn it into Google Classroom.